Could baseball actually start their season in May if they play in a biosphere? I thought I was reading a spoof. I thought the internet had tricked me. I kept looking, is this verified, Jeff Passan? These details that baseball is actually just going to make its own little city and it's going to quarantine itself and it's going to play seven inning games, double headers every day, and it's just going to be a greedy, half-baked, possibly infected money grab so that they don't lose all of that television money. I understand why people would want baseball back, but if you're going to bring back one of these sports, golf or tennis or people who are distant from each other, the idea that they're thinking of an idea where Mike Trout could test positive for coronavirus and be sent to some sort of incubator inside of the city where he's not allowed to interact with other baseball players. Think about the absurdity and the potential to shut the sport down immediately again if a couple of guys get sick. Then Mike Trout would get some name recognition, finally, though. Finally. Um, so I don't know much about biospheres. In fact, all I know is derived from the 1996 Pauly Shore classic, Biodome, which I can see as part of a trilogy with jury duty and son-in-law. But I'm pretty sure this isn't an actual biosphere. It sounds a lot more like a college campus where no one has a car, right? Like, they're looking at Korea as an example, which I think is flawed for a couple of reasons. One, baseball hasn't actually started in Korea yet, so we don't know if this is going to work. The league there is one third the size of Major League Baseball, and they have different societal norms in Korea, right? I'm not convinced that any of the people associated with this, and it's not just players, it's staffers, it's doctors, it's broadcasters, it's families. All it takes is one of them to not adhere to these guidelines. And if one of them gets sick, not a healthy young player who might bounce back, but someone gets really, really sick, what's baseball going to do? Yeah, um, this, hi, this doesn't make any sense. This is the most, in, I actually, I was going to say this is the most insane idea I've heard, but I forgot that yesterday I heard Dana White is planning on buying an island to allow UFC to continue, which might make less sense because if you're going to try to, you don't need the eye, it doesn't, you could just, why would you, I don't know. Uh, look, we're all scrambling. Just a couple months ago, a month ago, we were talking and debating about whether we would watch sports without any fans. And we were like, oh, I don't know, that would be weird. And now we're in a position where it's like, we are so desperate for sports that the least crazy thing about this plan is that fans would not get to watch the baseball games. Like, we are going to have to do some weird stuff to try to make sports happen or adjust to a life without sports. And I think while we all probably know what the inevitability is, we are just grasping at any weird Pauly Shore idea to please make sports happen because we're desperate. I'm gambling on whether my best friend's baby will make poopy in the potty or in his diaper because I just need something to feed my addiction to betting on outcomes of things. I really did though. I lost $20 because Austin went in the potty. Anyway, go ahead. Shout out to Austin. Mm. What's also weird about the baseball thing is that they keep saying that the that baseball players aren't susceptible to it being really bad for them because they're healthy and they're young, but they're forgetting the fact that like, if you have a pre-existing medical condition, that doesn't mean you can't play baseball. There may be guys whose immune systems are compromised that play baseball and you're putting them in real danger or making them make a decision of whether or not they're going to play this weird modified version of their sport or not. And I think a lot of people would probably choose not to. To be positive about just one couple of things here, no more uh, mound visits, so you're going to actually speed yes. up the game, and robotic umpires, you're going to clean up your umpiring problem finally just because you can't have the umpire standing next to the catcher. They're actually going to make two evolutions forced by a pandemic. Yeah, that's how you get baseball to finally evolve, is a pandemic, a global pandemic. I feel like this was the robot's long game all along.